this clergyman, William Miller, he apparently had these failed predictions of the second coming of Christ. Basically, exactly what Herbert W. Armstrong was doing when he predicted um, the return of Jesus in years like 1972, then 1975, and then other years. And then he just kind of brushed them off when Jesus didn't return. But then he said, well, Jesus will return in my lifetime. And then he died. And then the followers were still like, what's going on? Well, I mean, this is kind of the same concept with this dude back in... Um, How about hashtag false prophet? Yay! Hashtag, false, hashtag prophet. false prophet. Exactly. There's been so many of them, but I just thought he was kind of relevant because he was teaching the exact same thing. I'm sure there were a lot of them out there, but then he became very famous because um, his prediction became known as the Great Disappointment because everyone thought Jesus was going to return. Yay! We're all saved! And then it didn't happen. So... Uh, 31. And then the Seventh-day Adventists. Okay, we've been talking about them. Their church was founded, I want to say, 1863. Battle Creek, Michigan. It's funny. I was just in Battle Creek last week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so this was another, like, I guess you could say a separatist or splinter group. And this time it's from the Millerite movement okay so that's how we got the seventh day adventists so this concept of saturday sabbath started with the baptist church the uh, the seventh day baptist church excuse me um and then the millerite movement came about and then by 1863 the seventh day adventists had been created because these were people that had some problems with of course millerism but they wanted to take certain teachings with them and so thus they created their own church it's like a broken fucking record or watching the same boring movie over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. And um, Armstrong said through his ancestry, he has a paternal great-grandmother that traces back to Edward I, King of England. It, the name Edward Longshanks, ring a bell? You seen Braveheart? No. no. Braveheart? Well, no? yeah, but I don't. I have seen it, but I don't remember that. Oh, Edward the Longshanks. Yeah, that dude. Apparently, he's somehow related to among other people interesting he was, armstrong was always about being connected with men of great knowledge and power and all this like he wanted to be one of them and i think he did what he could to be one of them and he sure fucking did well, duh. I mean, the In dude literally form. declared himself to be God's end time prophet and declared that all the people following him were literally God's elect that had transferred, like the elect status had been transferred to those white English speakers from the t lost 10 tribes of Judaism. I mean, like, what the hell? Like, yuck. Yuck. Okay. Like, yuck. Yuck. Getting back to his childhood, he was... um not religious growing up and i would say <clears throat> into his early 20s this entire time he was just focusing on business and his advertising ventures and, and learning and studying self-taught uh he didn't go to college but his parents did bring him to church but it wasn't like what he ended up with he attended something called first friends church in des moines iowa which it looks like that is still around um, so he regularly attended Sunday school. It was like a regular, I want to say, evangelical church in Iowa. Well, um, it's Quaker related, I, I'm going to guess, if it has friends in the name. Because even now, uh, Quaker churches include that, the friend thing. Ah, okay. That would yeah. make sense. That like part sense. of their shtick. But it's like an evangelical mega church now. Okay. Oh, but yeah, sure. I don't think his parents were really like devout. It was just kind of the culture at the time. It's like people were were Quakers and Armstrong, he was more interested in other things, believe it or not. He wanted to explore this world. Well, see, <laughs> if you look at like uh, Victorian era, now granted again, mm -hmm. it's the like mirrored over to the US version, but there was like a lot of interest in seances and, you know, sort of esoteric witchy-ish things and like because photographs had become a thing that started you know you'd see like like double exposure on photographs which started a whole bunch mm -hmm. of like ghost kind of stuff 
right? That went right along with the seance stuff. So I think there was this like big body of interest in kind of the occulty things. And then that caused by the time you get to the 1930s, um, at least in the U.S., I think there was like this big era of tent revivals and shit like that, that to me seems like a little bit of a backlash to the openness people had to the occult at that time. Yeah, that's okay. just how that I'm makes... analyzing it. But um, so, I mean, that's that's the ripe, <laughs> the ripe uh, fruit that <laughs> that Armstrong walks into with his knowledge of psychology and advertising tools you know so here there's like this revival happening of jesusy stuff and he's gonna jump right in there and be like well yes all of you you are aware and i'm the one with the truth yes yeah <laughs> like your um, final have, answer doctor <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of azusa i think that's what it was called azusa california maybe it was this azusa? like a tent revival thing where um people in like the charismatic world Mm -hmm. uh like well, jesus people like jesus-ish people mm -hmm. not not the jesus people but but okay. um so this was in like the 1930s i believe and it was like that that whole tent oh. revival thing where like the holy spirit's falling and people are like speaking in tongues and falling over and all that shit oh. started happening fringe where, <laughs> where that wasn't <laughs> my understanding was it wasn't as much a part of it but yeah so so anyway people in the charismatic world kind of point to that azusa thing as having been like when the holy spirit came to like finish the work or whatever interesting so yeah the fields were fertile for armstrong to plow his whatever he used to plow yeah 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 <laughs> Thank you.